can't go back that ass back you can't go back that ass so Welcome back to my channel via glow if you are new here. My name is Gloria and today I have a Puerto Rico vlog um, I went on a vacation last month with my two older sisters And I wanted to show you guys a little bit of footage that I took while I was out there if you are interested Make sure you stay tuned And it confused yeah. I'm sorry. You would think that it would but I guess they like <laughs> It's a no go. Bite on the first one because what if we go to the other and find some cheaper? So at least we, we weighed our. You ain't gonna fix your back? Oh, okay, well, let's go. <laughs> Girl, shut up. <laughs> So the last clip that I just showed y'all, make sure you remember that shirt where it says, I'm a ray of fucking sunshine. So we make it into the airport and we are about to check in our bags. As we wait, I noticed that the employee just kept staring at us and it was about two families ahead of us, but she just kept staring at me and my sister. So we're like, what the fuck? So she goes to her um, coworker and by that time she had already taken care of the lady that was at her desk and now it's the next family up. And by that time, me and my sister, since the the next family weren't ready, we were about to walk up and she was like, so we like, what the fuck? So um, we're already irritated at that point. So I was like, jokingly like, hey, I wonder if it's our shirt. So then my sister was like, it might be. She was like, get your shirt out just in case. So I was like, okay. So we pull out another shirt and uh, once we make it up to the desk after she gets done helping another family, a manager shows up so he's standing there and he's trying to make small talk which is like super unnecessary at this point just let us know what the fuck is going on so as he's asking us where are you guys going i'm like san juan and my dumb ass is standing there answering the questions he was like so what are you guys doing out there so i was like we're going on vacation like what do you mean <laughs> so um as he's making that my sister's like so what's the issue so then he was like, oh, um, it's your shirts. They have profanity in it. And by that time, we're going back and forth with them. Like, are you serious? It's just a shirt. Da, 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 da. So um, he's like, and the, the stupid bitch that was beside him, uh, we're like, the restroom's over there. Um, you can go and change over there, over there. So by that time, we turn around and we look at the lawn that we just waited, maybe about five minutes in. We noticed that it is significantly longer than what it was when we first got in line. So my sister was like, I'm not getting out of line. So then um, he was like, so then my sister was like, well, if we go change, can we come back in the front? He was like, no, you'd have to wait in line. Oh, she was like, oh no, I'm not about to do that. So my sister take her shirt off and throws on another shirt. So then now I'm like, oh my God, I'm really gonna have to do this. Like, I'm really gonna have to do this. So. I muster up the courage. So then I take my shirt off and I put on another shirt. And at this point, I'm super irritated because mind you, it's a lot of fucking people in here. Like it's a lot of people in, in this area. So I was annoyed and I'm like, I know he's seen these titties just everywhere. But at that point, it was just kind of like, you got me fucked up. I'm not getting out of line. And then for you to sit here and say that I can't come back to the front of it, it was just really aggravating. And the lady that was um, helping us or waiting on us, bitch, um, you can tell that she was just so angry. Like she was so angry, but she was trying to hold it in. And I initially just thought like, maybe she's just not having a good day. Maybe it's just that or whatever the case just empathizing which i shouldn't have because she wasn't empathizing with us fucking bitch but anyways so we ended up uh, changing our shirts and we got our boarding passes checked in our bags and we left and also i wish i would have seen how this lady was throwing people luggage on the the conveyor belt like she was livid like she i wish y'all seen how she threw ours like thank god we didn't have anything fragile in there because the shit would have broke fucking with her strong ass you might be the one that truly get me And I might be the one you It's so pretty so uh, while we were out there, once we checked into our Airbnb, so then we called up our older sister because she made it there like an hour before us and we decided to go find her. And since everything was so um, close, we were both off of the Condido Beach, we decided to walk to her. And you know what I've been going through? This is when you tell me that you're different. This is when you try to make me fall. 
Okay, so the first night, um, I don't really have any footage, but we went to my sister's and we went and bought some alcohol. And then we went back to my sister's hotel where we sat outside by the beach and we just drank, listened to a little bit of music because we didn't bring any type of music when we got there. And we were just listening from our phone. We decided to call it quits like around seven or eight and then go back to our hotel. And we all just stayed there and just kind of caught up and, and um, just was chopping it up and just had a good mellow first night. Good morning. Uh, this is day two, two, two. Okay, yeah, um, we're gonna go hiking today. So we're gonna see how that's gonna go. Um, it should be fun though, yeah. You can't go back that ass back You can't go back that ass so So the water slide was fun as hell an experience i tell you so when you are going up you definitely want to have some shoes on or if not shoes make sure you have some type of um what do you call it like something that'll grip the um the rocks because there's a lot of algae on it and it makes everything slippery just going up so then when you come down um it's really fun and i initially thought that i like hurt something only because when i was going down of course it's going at a really fast pace but you're supposed to like kind of have your arms out a little bit just to kind of guide you down and i was doing that too but i like flipped over um but it was still okay i was fine and when i went under i thought that i drowned like i'm dead like i died like hey heaven how you doing but um i didn't and you just kind of plop back up because initially when i when the drop was happening i thought it was going to be like a cute little drop it was not a cute little drop like you you went in there um so after you plop back up you're like oh this shit is fun da, 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 da. my contacts had like fucking went everywhere else and I went on and was like wow I'm not doing that again so I went and sat down and I relaxed there's some awesome like if you guys are modeling <laughs> this is it Okay, so our um, instructor, he was so incredibly fun. He was really funny and he just made the whole um, experience really fucking nice. And that's exactly what you want when you go on a vacation. You want to be just mellow. You don't want anybody that's like super anal and just like a dickhead. But he was really fun. He was really nice and it was a good time. I'll make sure I leave his info at the end of this video. Make sure you check that out. So if you go to the San Juan, Puerto Rico area, if you wanna go ahead and go to the waterfall, definitely use Christopher as your instructor. <laughs> Right. Real quick. Bitch, you can't read that. <laughs> she <laughs> didn't try to squint like that. It's gonna... ate the conchas but we had different ones and I truly think that this is a thing that actually contributed to all of us having stomach problems that next morning
So um, after we went hiking, we relaxed for a couple of hours and then we went to dinner at Morton's. Now I had never been to Morton's, so it was my first time going there. And while we were there, we were having drinks, we were listening to our AirPods uh, to kind of keep us hype because it was really like dim and mellow in there. And once we had uh, dinner, we were like feeling the alcohol and all that. So we really wanted to do something, but nothing was open. Like I thought that was kind of strange. Puerto Rico definitely kind of shuts down early. Like they are like a 10 p.m. is like, that's it. It's not like a nightlife or anything like that. So we didn't do anything after we went to uh, dinner. We just kind of stood outside the area while we waited for my sister's Uber to pull up and we just, had a little bit of fun. Uh, make sure you wait to the end so you can watch all of the little boomerang videos and shit like that that I curated. We're going a little slow, but they're still moving. By the way, this is my video. Oh, I didn't even see them paddle boarding over there. Y'all are so nice out here. And then we went on a boat like it was really fun and just the the energy the vibe like it was just so mellow and so peaceful our um i don't know what you call it i don't know the boat guy he was really really nice for some reason i could not find any of his information in my email and i really was like trying to find it so you guys could um check him out if you do go out there but he was really nice he showed us some history for uh puerto rico um and it was just really really nice i think he showed us like a bacardi factory um and he was laughing because i think i'm not really sure where bacardi is like made from but he said that they say that it's made in so and so but he was like it's made in puerto rico like what the fuck so we all laughed about that and then he showed us like the history of this place i forget the name i'm sorry um and then he also showed us like the president of puerto rico's like home area so yeah so then the the boat guy he was just showing us like a lot of different um artifacts of uh, Puerto Rico and it was really nice. I think what ended up happening was we didn't bring any liquor. I think we did not think that part through because initially my sister brought like a little baby bottle of something and we were all like sipping off of it and next thing you know like the liquor was wearing off and we were just like hmm interesting on a boat with no liquor sober. So it was time to go. So then we ended up leaving. Um, and once we made it back to our hotels, we were thinking about going to dinner because it was like the second, I'm sorry, this was the third night. And we opted not to and just wanted to relax because we had an early flight the next day. So we ended up staying in and just chilling, relaxing. Let me tell you, 
that motherfucking airport. We woke up at 4.30 in the morning. We got to the airport before five. And we initially thought like, hey, it's Saturday morning. Nobody is gonna be at the airport at five in the morning on a Saturday. People are gonna be flying in in the afternoon. Baby, no. So we ended up getting there and it was pure chaos. You would have thought it was Black Friday and they were giving away free TVs. Like that was the energy of the airport. And it was so unorganized, so chaotic and my anxiety was on 10 because you have to stand in three different lines. Mind you, they don't tell you that. Like you have to like figure it out. So we were standing in the line that we thought was like the right line. So my sister goes up to a lady is like, hey, is this the right line? Like whatever. So she was like, no, you have to go to the USDA line. So my sister was like, oh, okay. And then she was like, after that, then you go to the boarding pass line. And then after that, you go to the main line. So she's like, oh, okay. So then we wait in the USDA line and we're like, oh shit, we probably not gonna make this flight. There's no way. Like, and mind you, we're there two hours in advance. But we're like, we're probably not gonna make this flight because this is ridiculous. So we're waiting in that line. They, you know, I guess the USDA kind of has to scan if you're gonna be bringing like some shit in. Then you wait in the boarding pass line. We go wait in the third line. Now, this is the line that I'm gonna show you the clip of. And it's just hectic, like real fucking hectic. I wish I would have vlogged just us walking into it because y'all would have been like, what the fuck? What the actual fuck? <laughs> she said, scan around. It's so empty now. All of that just for this. was definitely a 10 out of 10. Um, I think the only thing that I wish I would have done was stayed like an extra day just to go to like shopping areas and like just do, do more, I wanna say, just do more outside because we definitely try to stay outside as far as, you know, doing the waterfall and going on the yacht, but just do something more mellow. So you, I think you should have days where you are doing adventurous shit and then you should have like another day or two where you're just exploring the city. Like that was that. Okay, so the only thing that I got was this little bag um, from the airport actually. So once we made it into the clear area, I just got a postcard, Puerto Rico, old San Juan. And then I got a shot glass, really cute shot glass. And then a keychain. Yeah, this is all I got. Um, I did bring home a bottle of Hennessy, so I guess that, that was something else too. <laughs> but yeah, um, it was definitely a place to get some full blown experiences. So if you go, be ready to have a good time. I wonder is it worth living now? They told me dreams come true once you live it out. I picked up pieces from my childhood in a broken house. And heal my soul from the trauma we've been given now. I hear the whispers in the wind under smoky clouds. And tell myself once again, I'ma work it out. So much shit can happen, yo, it got me tripping now. Yeah, it's feeling different now. Feel like I'm zoned out, put my phone down, damn it's cold out Plotting on a rollout, we took our own route, really on our own now These them winter schemes, plotting for better dreams Cooking flows and melodies for OGs with felonies Who've been locked since the 70s, you gotta pray for enemies with jealousy They only feed off the good hearted, just don't bargain Stay in your lane and keep hogging Know that you a target and gotta finish what you started Don't be watching my sister like that. Uh, I guess. 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 Uh, I guess.
Taking that mustache. I'm thinking. I want to shake my ass on a yacht in Dubai. In a thong. <laughs> Only a few that'll rep for you And rarely ones that a step to you And let you know where you wrong at Instead of letting you Ride away in your soul Rather be whole and pure in my spirit This life